Prince William County is located in the heart of Northern Virginia. We're about three counties out of our nation's capital. Population of about 460,000 people. We cover an area of approximately 350 square miles. Committed to providing resources for its 700 officers to maintain their physical and mental health, the department created a wellness and resiliency unit. It took a couple of different events to make this program happen. In the past four years, our department experienced two line of duty deaths, two officers that were critically shot, and four suicides. All of those suicides took place in the matter of a year and a half. The final blow to the department came when 28-year-old Officer Ashley Gwendon was shot and killed in the line of duty, just one day after being sworn in as an officer. At that point, the department said, this is enough. We clearly need to do something for our officers and their wellness. And that's when Chief Bernard decided to create this unit. Although there were already some programs in place, the department vastly expanded its mental and physical health initiatives and added new programs as well. The Public Safety Resiliency Center, staffed by behavioral therapists, offers confidential counseling, crisis support, and emergency management to all public safety employees and their immediate family members. A unique aspect of the center is the ear acupuncture protocol. The ear acupuncture is a protocol that's being used all over the world within military and public safety settings. It's even used on the battlefield. There's five needles that go in each ear and it reduces cortisol levels within 28 seconds. The more and more people try it, they notice the pretty quick benefits. A peer support team provides confidential assistance for officers who have experienced a traumatic event on or off duty. There has always been a stigma when it comes to mental health and law enforcement. And we've really tried to face that problem head on. So while we aren't there yet, we're bounds and leaps ahead of where we used to be. Several new elements were incorporated to focus on officers' physical health. Athletic trainers from a nearby university help to rehab officers so they can return to duty healthier and faster. A peer fitness advisor team made up of employees all certified as personal trainers offers program design, one-on-one -on -one or group training, and nutrition. And a physical readiness program allows officers one hour a day during their shift to work out. And we've had such good results with that. I can count at least eight people that have approached me and said they've lost 50 plus pounds. Since we've started the program, I've lost 62 pounds. The department's total money makeover focuses on its officers' financial wellness. We started with about 20 people. Now we're able to connect with over a thousand people uh, each week. Uh, since we started this, over $10 million of debt uh, has been paid off by the group. The Prince William County Police Department's wellness program also benefits the community. A healthy police officer will be an officer that's effective and will be an asset to our community. We're seeing a lot of really good results. My hope is that other agencies don't have to wait for those critical incidents to realize that this is important and can take some of the things that we've done and implement their own programs for their staff. The Prince William County Police Department is very proud to be the recipient of a Destination Zero Award. But we also thank the many agencies across the country that are all doing great work in providing health and wellness to their police officers and their staff.